good day everyone we will discuss on statistics and dbcc show statistics stat header command in this video let's get started statistics basically drives the cardinality estimates as far as any execution plan is concerned the estimated of number of rows is generated basically from the information that is present from the statistics statistics is a critical uh, component using which the cardinality estimates basically happen if the statistics are not updated properly or out of date, then the optimizer will end up creating a suboptimal plan. Let's consider we have a table on which a query is going to be executed. And if this query, when trying to check the statistics, finds that the uh, statistics is not updated properly or doesn't reflect the actual information on the statistics, what happens is like the optimizer end up creating a suboptimal plan because the estimates will be derived poorly. So that is the reason it is very, very important that the statistics for the underlying object should be up to date. Understanding how to analyze statistics is an important aspect of query tuning. In case, uh, after looking at the execution plan, if we want to understand where are the estimates coming from, then it is basically important that we clearly understand how to analyze statistics. DBCC show statistics command is a go-to command uh, using which we'll be able to understand some valuable information on the statistics. And DBCC show statistics is something that needs to be used regularly for tuning any query. Let's look at a demo and uh, we will be able to understand how we will be able to get more information from uh, DBCC show statistics command. So for this video, we will be looking at uh, DBCC show statistics stats header command and uh, uh, in uh, future videos, we'll be looking at other aspects. For this demo, I'm going to use the database JBS wiki. This database needs to be restored. I have a separate video uh, for uh, restoring the required database for the query tuning session. You can check out the description section and you can have a look on that particular video if you want to restore the database. So right now, what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to check the statistics for a table called color. So basically what I'm doing is like, I'm uh, uh, joining uh, sys.stats and uh, sys.stats underscore column and basically trying to get the information about the statistics on table color. Let me execute that. And what I can understand is like, I have two statistics here. That is uh, one statistics is uh, PK color, which is created as part of your um, cluster index. And the other statistics is on uh, column color, which is um, IX underscore test. So now let me create, uh, let me execute this query. And if you look at the predicate here, it is basically color ID. And if you go back and look at the previous query uh, output, what we can see is like there is no statistics created for column color ID. So let me execute this query. Okay, he did not return any row. So let's look at the statistics information again for this table. Remember, we just saw two rows before. Now let's see how many rows we are going to see. So here, if we can see here, we are able to see that there is a new statistics that is created, which is an auto-created statistics as mentioned here, and that is for the column color ID. So what we can understand is like, as soon as we executed this query, SQL Server was able to understand like the predicate used is color ID, but there were no statistics created for this column. So since we had this um, auto create statistics enabled for this particular database, which is your JBS wiki database, what happened is like the SQL Server was able to create the st uh, statistics automatically. So if we can see here, the auto create statistics option is set to true. Moving on. What I'm going to do is like, I'm uh, going to uh, uh, take this particular statistics name, which is on color ID, and then I'm going to uh, put it in the DBCC show statistics command. So if we execute this particular command, we'll be able to see um, uh, different components here. Yeah? This is uh, the first one is called um, the stats header. And the second one is basically called the density vector. And the third one is basically called the histogram for the statistics. As of now, 
I'm interested only on uh, the stats header for this video. So what I'll do is like I would execute this command basically with um, the stats header command. So if I don't use a with um, class, what happens is like it is basically going to bring in all the components of the statistics. But right now I'm just going to execute the stats header only. So if we look at it here, uh, the name signifies the name of the statistics. Updated basically tells you like uh, when was the uh, statistics last updated. So rows here basically tells us like uh, this is the number of rows that we have on this particular table color and rows sampled is basically like um, uh, the sample uh, value with which the rows are updated for example in our case i'm able to see like it is updated with a full scan that is 100 percent because we just created the table and created the statistics there is a possibility we can update the statistics using a uh, sample value say 20 percent 40 percent depending upon uh, the requirement so as far as the steps is concerned here it is basically um, uh, gives us uh, the number of steps in the histogram which we will be discuss uh, which we'll be discussing further that's it for this video thanks for watching have a great day jai hind